In today's video, I want to show you how to use Radium. It is the premier decentralized exchange on the Solana network. This is gonna be a step-by-step -step guide, how to get your funds into a Solana wallet, how to use Radium, and how to start earning some pretty gosh darn sweet yields by yield farming over on Radium. My name is Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency investing. So if that's the kind of content that you appreciate, maybe you'd like to learn some more about, then definitely hit that thumbs up button to show me and YouTube that you appreciate this kind of content. By the way, every single week my team and I produce Wealth Mastery. This is a cryptocurrency investor report designed to help keep you ahead of the curve in this fast moving market. We do DeFi tutorials. We have altcoin reports, cryptocurrency technical analysis, my portfolio updates, tips, tricks, NFTs, airdrops, token sales, and much, much more. You can get that report for free by using the link down below, or of course, you can always go premium for less than 10 bucks a week. Now, before we get into the topic of using decentralized finance, on Solana, just so you are aware, there are risks. When you leave the safe space of Coinbase, you have all kinds of risks that come into play, like managing your seed phrase. Very, very important. Not falling victim to phishing links. The platforms themselves have smart contract risks and a variety of other things that can happen and permanent loss from doing yield farming. Please be aware that there are risks before just running out and throwing your money into any of this stuff. And um, yeah, keep that in mind before you jump in here. Now, in order to use the Solana blockchain, which is where Radium is located, you are going to need a wallet. I recommend the Phantom Wallet. In my opinion, it is the best wallet for the Solana blockchain. There will be a link down below where you can download that. If you would like to get yourself uh, the Phantom Wallet downloaded, it would be the one I'd recommend. Now, I'm not going to show you in this video how to set up the Phantom Wallet. It's pretty gosh darn easy. And to be honest, if you cannot figure out how to click the Add to Chrome button and then to write down your seed phrase, you probably shouldn't be doing DeFi in the first place. It's super, super easy to get set up. So just go ahead and download the wallet. Now, once you have your wallet downloaded, it'll look something like this here, a nice empty wallet, nothing in it. We have our address uh, up here. Now, we're gonna need to get put some money into this cryptocurrency wallet. There's two ways to do this pretty easily. One is by using the wormhole. So the wormhole allows you to move assets from one blockchain to another blockchain. Again, there'll be a link for the wormhole uh, down below in the description here. But this is one way to do it. Um, you can move assets right across a variety of different blockchains into Solana or of course to other blockchains too. If you want, that is an option for you. Uh, I'm not gonna be taking this option today because I'm going to be just actually withdrawing some funds straight from a centralized exchange onto the Solana network into my Phantom wallet. The exchange I'm withdrawing from today is Femex, but look, lots of different exchanges support the Solana network directly, Binance and a whole range of other ones. So you pick your poison for where you want to buy Solana first and then withdraw the asset to your wallet. Now the wormhole is particularly useful. For example, let's say you have a bunch of USDC coins sitting on Ethereum, but you'd like to move those over to the Solana network to start doing some yield farming with that wormhole then becomes very, very useful for that. But remember, you have to have some Solana sitting in your wallet to be able to pay the gas fees to do anything. So you're gonna need to probably withdraw some Solana from a centralized exchange as a starting point anyway. So how do we do this? We go ahead and get our Solana address here from our wallet. Go ahead and copy that to clipboard right up here. So you just go down here to choose a withdrawal address. So you can either add a new withdrawal address by copying and pasting the wallet address that I just copied from the Phantom Wallet. Now on Femex, you actually have a, a whitelisting process. So I've already got my wallet address added here. We're going to withdraw all of the Solana from Femex over to my wallet here. So go ahead and enter in my Google verification code and that will come across to me in just a few minutes time. 
Okay, now that we have our wallet funded, it's time to have some fun. So let's go over to Radium. Again, link down below in the description for that. And we're going to do some trading. So first, of course, we have to connect our wallet. So click on Connect Wallet, click on Phantom, and we are connected pretty easy to do. Now, what I want to do, I want to buy some Radium tokens. So we're going to actually trade our Solana for some Radium. So we're going to do 0 0.2 Solana is going to buy us 5.5 Radium. Click on Swap there. Click on Approve. That'll go through in just a second. You see transaction has been sent and transaction has been confirmed. That was freaking quick. Not only quick, but also ridiculously cheap. So we're actually going to buy some USDC as well. So we're going to sell another 0 0.2 to Solana. And let's just point out how cheap the fees are this time. So that's gonna be 30 bucks worth of USDC. Let's let that let's let that go through. I'm usually impatient, but you can see the fee, the network fee right here. 0 0.00001 Solana. That's so cheap. It's not even funny. We're talking fractions of a penny here to make this transaction. If you were doing a similar transaction on Uniswap, you could be looking at $100, sometimes even more, for the exact same experience. So this is one of the many reasons why Solana is an attractive blockchain to use. Anyway, let's click Approve. Get some USDC coming into our account here. Now, this is their simple swapping function here. So it's very easy to use. You type in how much you want of what you want and you're done. But they also have a more advanced uh, trading platform here on Radium where you can actually do uh, limit orders and stuff like that. We're not gonna be looking at that today, but I just want you to know that also exists. If you click here on trading, you can get into that as well. Now let's go ahead and explore some of their pools. So this is different options for you to start earning money, doing some fricking farming. Okay, so here on the pools page, you can see what the different fees are earned by the different liquidity providers. So you're going to take your tokens here and actually add them into one of these pools in order to start earning these fees. However, before we decide which pool we might want to get into, you might want to come and look at the farms page because here you're going to find the total APR that can be earned from taking your liquidity pool tokens and putting them into a farm. More on that in just a second. We can see the rates are really great here. But first, I've already selected my pool. We're going to do Ray USDC. So that is the Radium USDC pool. So we can go here and click on Ray USDC. And you can see it only says 6.27% there, which is not very much. You might be thinking, Lark, why wouldn't you do the Seoul USDC? It's at 22.1%. Well, we're going to get the answer here momentarily, but it's because the farm has a higher rate for the Ray USDC pair. So click on Ray USDC. Then we can come over here and let's say, let's put five Ray. We're gonna put five Ray into the pool. You will see it also requires having the same amount of USDC available. So this is a 50-50 pool. Half of it's Radium, half of it's USDC. So when I just bought Radium and my USDC a few minutes ago, Somebody was already providing liquidity into this pool. Now I'm also going to provide liquidity into this pool. So there we go. Five radium matched up with USDC. Click on I confirm. Click on do not warn again for this pool. Just so you are aware of those things, make sure you read the radium liquidity guide and understand all the risks involved regarding providing liquidity and particularly around impermanent loss because impermanent loss can really screw you up. As I mentioned, there are risks in doing all of this stuff. Click on supply here. Let's see what our fee is. Our fee still dirt, dirt cheap. Click on approve there. Now that we have provided this liquidity into the pool, we are going to get an LP token. So we're going to get a separate token that represents our liquidity position within this pool. You can see now your liquidity down here. So we're going to take that liquidity provider token that we've just received for adding liquidity into the pool and put it into a farm. So if I didn't do anything, I would be earning like 6% a year 
on this pool just in the fees. But if we go over to the farms page, you will see that there are some very, very attractive rates for a wide range of different pools. Now we did radium USDC, that is at 56% APR right now. Very nice. So that is a great, great pool reward that you can get here. And if you think 56% sounds great, you should look at some of these other pools. Look at this one, 702%. I have no idea what AART is, but 702%. There's some really crazy ones here. SVT, no idea what that is, 831%. SLC, I'm a big fan of Solus, 700 45% insane rates on some of these pools. These are for different altcoins matched up with um, different tokens. You can see here we have Monkey Ball with USDC, 187%. So it depends on what tokens you have and what tokens you might want to get some more of. They also have dual yield farms where you're gonna get paid out in two tokens, not just one token. So there's lots of different options here, but we chose Radium USDC for this example. I'll be earning 56% on my position. So let's go ahead here and stake our LP token. So click on stake LP, click on max, click on confirm. We'll need to approve that transaction. Transaction has been sent. Once this transaction is confirmed, we are now in the farm. There you go, it's been confirmed. We're now in the farm. We're now going to start earning rewards. Look at that, look at that. We got our first reward already, 0 0.00006. Nice, nice. You can, of course, harvest those rewards anytime you want. And because the fees on Solana are so gosh darn cheap, you can do that basically any time you want. And it's actually worth it, even for small liquidity positions. If you only have a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks, you can come over here and do this because the gas fees are so cheap, it makes it available to basically anybody. So that is very cool. Now, in order to get out of this position, you basically just go back through the opposite of what we just did. Unstake your liquidity position, get out of the uh, pool, sell your tokens, et cetera, et cetera. So, but that's how you get into it. And of course, as mentioned, there's lots of great farms over here. You don't have to do the Radium USDC farm that I just showed you how to do. There's lots of different options for you as well. Uh, that's not all on Radium. There's other features as well here in Radium that you can uh, take advantage of. Of course, you can stake your Ray tokens once you get them, 18.9% APR right now just for staking the Radium token, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff uh, going on here as well. They've got a launch pad here on uh, Radium. They're doing NFTs over here on Radium as well, which I think is a, a pretty cool extra feature that you can find here on Radium. So if you want to come over here and buy some fun JPEGs, well, you can do that as well. So that's uh, it's pretty cool to see lots of different features here on this decentralized exchange. It's a decentralized finance platform. It's not just an exchange. They've got swap features. They've got trading features. They got liquidity features. There's farms where you can earn crazy amounts of money. So lots of different options there available for you. I hope that this tutorial has been useful for you in showing you how you can get started using the Solana blockchain to earn great rewards on the Radium protocol. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.